Hi, I'm Dave Turpin, the Interim Editor-in-Chief of the AJODO. I'd like to welcome you to the journal and our Case of the Month. In this short video, I will show selected pretreatment records of a case report that was accepted for publication in this month's issue of the journal. After you review the author's treatment options, I want to know, how would you manage this patient? The patient is a 22-year-old man who had a chief complaint of crowding. Because of childhood trauma, the maxillary left central incisor had been avulsed and was replanted. Since that time, the affected central failed to erupt normally, showing signs of ankylosis. The panoramic and periapical radiographs confirmed the presence of replacement root resorption, even though the endodontic treatment had been completed following replacement of the tooth. After gathering all remaining orthodontic records, it was clear the patient had a class I malocclusion characterized by generalized crowding, as well as the severely impacted third molars. The cephalometric tracing disclosed a class I skeletal pattern with proclined incisors and lip fullness. There appeared to be no skeletal asymmetries present. Under most circumstances, this would normally be considered a four premolar extraction case to relieve the crowding and improve the facial profile. Because of the replacement resorption affecting the left central incisor root, several other treatment options were considered. The first option, Replace the central incisor with an implant or a bridge following extraction of four first premolars and full orthodontic treatment. However, this patient had a vertical alveolar bony defect which would greatly complicate the aesthetics of replacing the tooth with an implant. Option number two. Replacement of the central incisor with one of the extracted first premolars and then continue conventional orthodontic treatment to close spaces and align all remaining teeth. A 90 degree rotation of the premolar when being autotransplanted would help it appear similar in width to that of the central incisor and make the aesthetic complications reduced. If this plan was chosen for the patient, another concern would be the need to create additional space for placement of the premolar in the anterior portion of the maxilla, where the teeth are already crowded. From this progress image, you can see how the initiation of the alignment following these extractions and the use of coil springs could be employed to improve the success of any surgical procedures. How do you think this patient's treatment was managed? Allow me to give you a sneak preview of the patient following appliance removal. From the intraoral photos, you would never guess that one of the four premolars extracted was used to replace the ankylosed central incisor. Radiographic examination of the initial central compared to the final health of the transplanted premolar confirmed the success of this treatment approach. By recycling a healthy premolar with timely orthodontic treatment, an aesthetic smile and a functional occlusion can be achieved. To find out how the authors treated this patient, click on the link below to view the AJODO April Case of the Month on their journal website.